Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? So, do you nerd for totally unexpected mail packages? Ooh, I love surprises. All right, so, a little bit of backstory. Uh, we actually had a fellow YouTuber. Mm -hmm. He's also on Twitter, and his handle is Pocket Rocket Radio. He got in touch with us via Twitter and asked, "Do we accept uh, packages?" Uh, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, of course, I guess." We do. <laughs> so I love getting mail. Uh, just to kind of touch on that a little more. So this is actually the first gift. Yeah. Technically, anybody has sent us. Without so, doing a trade involved. Right. Because we've gotten gifts from people we've done trades with. Like, they've thrown in little things into it. But this is the first, like, I guess you would say unsolicited gift. Yeah. I, like, Maybe. completely. Like, someone uh, would just say, hey, I'm going to send you something. Uh, Pocket Rocket Radio, he said he had something that he wanted to send us. And, I mean, he didn't even charge us for shipping or anything. He said that he knows the guy that created this, what's in the box, not the box, <laughs> and he thought that uh, it would find better use in our house, so he wanted to send it to us. Let's open it. I'm not patient. I like surprises, but I'm not patient. <laughs> All right, so it's still a mystery. There's a note. There is a note. This is a letter. Actually, that was 13. Quite a letter. TLDR. Nice. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Arthur from Pocket Rocket Radio. Just want to say thanks for all the fun and positive videos you put out. I'm a full-time student and when classes get tough, it's nice to be able to relax and geek out to your channel. Oh, thank you. I'm sending you guys a card game called Presidential Knife Fight. With all the drama going on and politics, I think some political satire <laughs> can help lighten the mood. Keep up the great work, and I hope to see your channel growing. Lincoln's got a knife. Oh my gosh, he does. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Arthur. So first, right off the bat, um, looking at the back of it, it says this is ages 13 and up, three to six players, and about 30 minutes. And I don't know if that's game time, because sometimes they'll do 30 minutes with setup and game time, and sometimes right. they'll tell you how much setup time is and game time is. So it just says it just says 30 minutes on the back. I do like these small games like this because they're usually nice and compact and they're great to like throw in a bag or something and take with you. So I do Definitely. love I, I love the big pretty board games too, but I do like the more small compact ones for like travel. And it came we got a card. So we got an extra Oh, like, so this could be an extra card. So right off the back it says stab, scheme, and survive. And you have much better reedy voice. Oh. <laughs> like Announcer voice, why don't you read the back for us? Clones of the former presidents of the United Ooh. States of America Ooh. have been Chills. released into the arena of democracy to battle it out. Who will emerge from the campaign of carnage and stand triumphant as the supreme president of these United States? That would be me. Players use cards and special powers to attack their opponents, gain votes, and dodge enemies. Each president has a unique ability based on their time in office, creating a different experience every time you play. Every foe you defeat, and each turn you survive around, the table takes you one vote closer to victory. Nice. So, you know, first off the bat, I notice it's a little jumbled in the box, which is not a big deal. I mean, sometimes when you produce a new game, you're not quite sure how you want your packaging to be on the inside. Sometimes, you know, they have these shrink wraps. Sometimes they don't like these little cards are shrink wrapped. They're very pretty. It's a nice printing. It looks like. Yes. The quality of these cards is great. Well, there is shrink wrap in here. So maybe the cards came apart. So I'm going to guess maybe they were shrink wrapped, but uh, maybe in shipping, they got jostled apart. Now you have the top secret confidential instructions. I love all the, yeah. the artwork on it's them. It's kind of dark, but not like so dark. I, it's not so dark I can't see it, like the Game of Thrones episode everyone's bitching about. Now, I am seeing on the back we have some cards that say presidents and some that say actions. And there are also some quick, I believe, rule cards. So these cards are pretty neat. They're very stylized pictures of the presidents. It does give the presidential number of when they were presidents as well. 
up at the top under their name, it also talks about the party that they were in, whether they were Republican, Democrat, Whig, or in the case of George Washington here, no party, and John Adams, Federalists. The other thing that's kind of neat is when you do have a Republican and Democrat card, they are um, the correct colors. There's The Republicans are red and the Democrats are blue, so they paid attention to that political detail as well. It also has the year that the presidents were um, in office. So the tiny cards here are your woo. I just dropped them. Our wounds. Are your woo. They're woo. Wounds. Ric Flair cards. They are. So one side says presidential knife fight wound and the other one says presidential knife fight corruption. So I'm guessing these are the ones that you're going to collect when you uh, are fighting people. Now the bonus card that came with the box but was not inside the box it says it is number 100 and it is considered a president card but it is uncle sam no party nice so the ronald reagan card is bulletproof he is literally deflecting bullets off of his chest that is fantastic bill clinton is playing a saxophone shouldn't the george w bush one say strategery strategery instead of strategic oh I'm kidding, George. You were very much fun president to watch. Well, it looks like we have some reading to do to learn how we to play do. this game. And since it starts at three players, we are going to have to get another nerdling in the mix with us. This is Presidential Knife Fight. You kill opposing presidents and add their bodies to your vote pile. Get five votes to become Supreme President of these United States. Your last vote must be from a kill, or you must be the last player standing. It should be noted that this game comes with two decks of cards, Presidents and Actions, plus tab cards that say Wound and Corruption on one side. It does not come with the fun knives to stab each other, and it does not come with a coin, though we do suggest you get both. Each player starts with three President cards and three Action cards. Players decide if they want to keep their action cards or discard for three new ones. Players then secretly choose which president card to start with and place their others in reserve. Once everyone has chosen their starting president, players read through their president cards aloud to announce the candidacy. The earliest president, the lowest number, goes first. If you have no president, when you come back to life, you draw a president from your reserve. If you have no more reserve, you take a card from the top of the president deck. Announce that candidacy at the table. If you survived a full turn around the table, you get a vote from the bottom of the president deck. Add it to your vote pile. You may take three actions in any combination of the following. Stab a president next to you. If the attack hits, your victim takes one wound. If a president gets wounds equal to their life, they die. The player that killed them takes the fallen president and adds it to their vote pile. Of course, there are ways for the other president to defend themselves. Another action is drawing an action card. Add the top card of the action deck to your hand. You can repeat this action as long as you have actions left to spend. Another action phase is to play an action card. You may repeat this as long as you have actions left to spend. Or as an action, you may also activate a presidential ability. Each president has a unique ability, some of which can be activated. Some presidential abilities can be used more than once. After you're finished taking actions, your turn ends. If you have any effects that occur at the end of a turn, such as wartime, they happen now. If you have more than four action cards in your hand, discard the action cards until you only have four. The turn passes clockwise, as that is the American way. If a player gets five corruption counters, their president is thrown out of office and taken by the player that corrupted them, as if they had killed them. Essentially, the game takes just a little bit of practice and a little bit of gameplay. Most of the time, you're going to be following what either the action cards or the presidential cards tell you to do. Make sure you're paying attention to other players and their strategery. In short, those are the rules of the game. Be sure to take a closer look at the instruction manual to get a little more detail of the different strategies. What's the president's cards? The blue or the red ones? Blue ones. Oh, it does say president. president. <laughs> the one that says president. So each player gets three? Yes. Okay. 
glad you're keeping up. <laughs> I haven't even had my one. I just smelled it. Oh, boy. Now we get to progressively watch Lacey's face get red as she drinks her wine. <laughs> Alright, so who's running for president? I would like to announce the candidacy of Thomas Jefferson. I am a Democratic Republican. That's cheating. Yeah, I know. As an action, discard two action cards to have Lewis and Clark rough up the president furthest from you. They take one unavoidable wound, and whenever a player attacks you, you may discard an action card to draw a new one, and I may do this before the attack. I have one heart, and my year is 1801 to 1809. Sorry. Huh. Oh, and I'm a slave owner. Oh, well. Sorry, I didn't. We don't want to talk to her. <laughs> I would like to announce the candidacy of Harry Truman. I'm a Democrat, uh, 1945 to 1953. I have two hearts, and I can force the surrender. Presidents with a wound cannot react to your stabs. So that means if you've already been wounded, and I try to stab you. Nothing you can do about it? Nothing. Oh, and then wartime. <laughs> At the end of your turn, draw an extra action card. <laughs> Alright, I'm Gerald Ford. My name is Jerry Ford. And I'm a Republican. And I was the 38th president from 1974 to 1977. I have two hearts. I'm a Time Lord. <laughs> Pardon Nixon! As an action, remove all corruption counters from a president. If you removed at least three corruption counters from a player other than yourself, get a vote. Play this ability only once. Wartime. At the end of your turn, draw an extra action card. Ah! <laughs> Savvy, I am going to... Stab you! No, you're not! Ah, you can't stab me yet! What? You missed me! Oh. I'm going to ambush you. Why me? Because you blocked me. This so? attack cannot be blocked or dodged, and you have to take one wound. If you're in my party, you die. And I'm a Democrat and a Republican. <sighs> you die. I don't think so. That's not very nice. All right. <laughs> I am the 25th president. I am William McKinley. I'm a Republican from 1897 to 1901. I have two hearts. If we don't take Hawaii, Japan will. When you, when you make a kill, you may place a card from your hand face down in front of you to build a Hawaiian military base as a free action. Do not discard this base if McKinley dies. Wartime. At the end of, the, of your turn, draw an extra action card. So you drew a card? That's your first action? First action? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, action two. Going to... Attack! Ooh, do you get to stab No! Her? It says reaction. Play when an opponent attacks you. That wound becomes unavoidable. So basically, like, I'm attacking you back. It's called mutually assured destruction. Okay, so, so, so I, take I get a wound, one and you get one. But read the bottom of my card, too. If that president is in your party, they die if hit. <gasps> and I'm in both well, parties. Well, she only has one heart anyway. Here you go, guys. We oh, come on. We can't stab. You can stab each How other. You stab each other when you're holding your hand. <laughs> I mean, when. <laughs> okay, both of you put your hands in the middle and stab each other's hands. Oh, this way? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I am the 35th president, John F. Kennedy. I'm a Democrat this time. Aim for Just the head. a Democrat. Oh! Too soon! Too soon! It was 63! I was in office from 1961 to 1963. 1963 is a sore subject. <laughs> you hearts. and Lincoln should really hang out together. <laughs> I have two hearts. We choose to go to the moon. And this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. As an action, discard an action card to fund the Apollo program. At the end of Kennedy's next turn, get two votes. These votes can win the game instead of a kill. Play this ability only once. 
Wartime, at the end of your turn, draw an extra action card. Alright, so for my last action, mm -hmm. going to play an executive action, The Trail of Tears. Oh, no. oh. So discard another action, and then take a corruption counter to play this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Choose a player who lives at the location you're playing at. Oh. If no player lives at this location, blah, blah, blah. The chosen player's president is forced to walk the Trail of Tears. <laughs> Add their president <laughs> card to your vote pile. Oh, he killed you. Wow, people, let me live. <laughs> Good lord almighty. All right, this is the acid trip, president. Harry Truman dropping bombs over here. <laughs> Too soon? This is subject. The bomb performed beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am now the 23rd president, Benjamin Harrison. I'm a Republican. I was president from 1889 to 1893. I have two hearts. Unprecedented federal spending. You may play any number of cards during your turn without spending an action. You cannot make more than two draw actions during your turn. At the end of your turn, discard all but one action card from your hand. And he obviously was on the uh, Green Fairy stuff. You get him? Oh yeah. Totes Green Fairy. going to stab somebody. I'm only stabbing you because you have two hearts. Because you both have killed me, so it's equal revenge. But I'm going to try to stab you. Can I do it? Can you stop me? <laughs> Come on, let me stab you. <laughs> You're dead! I'm going to be number one. Oh, Ooh. no. George Washington. <laughs> no George. party. Mm. Slave owner, two hearts. There's 1789 no party because you didn't have any fun. To 1797. <laughs> I'm an American legend. Players cannot target you with attack cards. Ooh. Oh, but we can still stab at you. Stab attacks and executive actions affect you normally. All the games should come with. Watch your wine. Get <laughs> 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 to Lacey. Hi. <laughs> We've been having fun. I guess. George Washington, you have easily swayed staffers who allow me to attack you. But that's an attack card, isn't it? Yes. Can I do executive actions? Yes. What? George Washington's a jerk. Yeah, he really is. We should totally impeach him. I think so. We should totally impeach him. All right. We're going to impeach George Washington. If another president seconds your choice, the impeached president takes one unavoidable wound. What? And that is an executive action. There you go. Would, would you like to stab him? Kinda. Ow! <laughs> I felt that in my cow teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I drew one. My second action is an executive action. Excessively partisan politics. Oh dear. Each president that is not in your party flips a coin. Well. That would be Aww. both of us, because he doesn't have a party. We should have, like, more than impeached him. I know. Okay, so I'm going to flip the coin. Tails. Tails. That president takes one unavoidable wound. Or do you want to stab me somewhere else, because you're closer? Well, you got, you got two hearts, so this is merely a flesh wound. All right, you. Uh huh. Now heads that president dodges is oh her. tails. Hand out. Stabby stabby time. Oh, 
No. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I did draw a reaction. No. Play when an opponent attacks oh, you. <laughs> Discard three. president. Oh, for my boat pile? Ooh. Or your reserve. Then place it on the bottom of the president deck. If you do that, president who's attacking you trips on the corpse and hurts some stuff instead. <gasps> <laughs> oh, look, and you're dead. Does that mean you get this as a vote? Don't let people think I only chopped down a cherry tree. <laughs> well, it is time to announce the candidacy of James Garfield, the 20th Meow. president, a Republican. Lasagna. 1881 to 1881. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't care for Mondays or normal. Grand Loves lasagna. <laughs> Grand plans an early death. You may play any number of cards on your turn without spending an action. You cannot make more than two draw actions a turn. If you play more than one card on your turn, you die at the end of oh. turn. Hey, uh... I liked your idea of getting rid of Kennedy last time. Hey! Time. So, uh, what do you say we impeach Kennedy? No! Let's do this. Alright, I am going to impeach the president. You take an unavoidable wound. So, come here. Yeah! Alright, now give me your president, because I killed him. Alright, now who are you? Uh, I'm out. So, you, I think you just draw from the top. Yes. I am Abraham Lincoln. President number 16, Republican, 1861 to 1865, two hearts. As an action, discard your action cards to read the Gettysburg Address. Oh boy. I hate the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> That's all I heard, all over Gettysburg. So as long as Lincoln is alive, ooh, each slave owner dies at the end of their turn. You get all the votes for the presidents that die this way. Oh man, Lincoln dies at the end of your next turn. Well, yeah, he doesn't get to live very long. War time at the end of your turn to run a construction <laughs> card. Dang. Hmm. Who do I want to? I want to stab somebody. I just don't know who I want to stab. Let's stab you. Can I stab you? Maybe you should get permission from my old friend Ben Franklin. Are you bribing me? Shh. <laughs> I'm just. Paying you to not stab. <laughs> when an opponent attacks you, they attack misses. That <laughs> opponent gets a corruption counter, and you get two corruption counters. So... <laughs> Damn it! I want to stab somebody! I don't want to die just yet, so I'm not going to use a card. <laughs> Come on, green fairy man. <laughs> yeah, give me that absent. Ow, all the pain. Ow. <laughs> I'll take this. Oh, thank you. Hit. Well, hey guys, guess what? I'm the 15th president, James Buchanan. I'm a Democrat. From 1857 to 1861, I got two hearts. Wouldn't stop the Civil War. Wounds from attack cards are unavoidable. Are you a slaveholder? I'm a terrible... No, it doesn't say I'm a slave holder. Dang it. But apparently I'm just a terrible president because I can't do shit. What's your turn? Oh. To give it a go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I could have gotten a vote for surviving, but no. Someone had to stab me. <laughs> Let's try to stab you. Because you've got one wound. Your attack misses. Why? You get a corruption counter. Why? And I get two. Because I bribed you. Why is everyone bribing me? Why am I so easily bribed? <laughs> I am going to... Stab you. Why me? You're closer. <gasps> you don't like him anyway. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead, <laughs> stab me. I don't care. Ow. Number 29, Warren Harding. He is. He's a Republican. One heart. 1921 to 1923. Ignore the League of Nations. Executive actions played by other players don't affect you. Yeah. So there. You cannot play more than one executive. I can't play more than one executive action per turn. Oh. Oh, no. He I actually survived. I survived. 
So you get to take a vote. There you go. Sweet. He's gonna win. He, well, he has to be. His win has to be a kill. Still. All he needs is oh, five. Oh, I got. I gotta play it careful because I can't use my cards or I'll die. <laughs> You only have the one heart. But <laughs> you gonna throw it at me? Yeah. It's slow motion throwing. <laughs> oh. Oh no. My secret service agents are uh, blocking you. Your agents, my secret service agents, caused the attack to miss. The attacking president is hauled away to the bottom of the president's deck, then replaced with a new president card from the president's deck. That player keeps their hand. Ah! You're <laughs> me away, kicking and screaming! Ah! Now who are you? Well, hello everybody. I am uh, Millard Fillmore, oh, the 13th president of the Whig Party with Ooh. two hearts, 1850 to 1853. I open trade negotiations with Japan. As an action, discard two action cards to start the parry expedition to Japan. At the end of each of Fillmore's turns, get a vote. Play this ability only once. We're going to go to Japan and get them Pokemons. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Okay, got to catch them all. Well. These cards. Come at me. Come at me, bro. I'm going to melee attack you. What? It says, ambush a president next to you. This attack cannot be blocked or dodged. Other reaction cards are still effective. What? They take a wound. If that president is in your party, they die. Damn it. I'm a Democrat. What are you? I'm a Republican, oh, well. but I only have one heart. So I'm dead. <sighs> Number 32. FDR. Democrat. 1933 to 1945. Wow, he was for a long time. Oh yeah, that's right. He was the one who just kept having turns. Now, was... what's your problem with the doctor? <laughs> she said FDR. <laughs> <laughs> Two hearts. Uh, and I ride on a magical fiery chariot. Yeah, I had that one before too. <laughs> it's very weird. His wheelchair yeah. is very magical. Yeah, okay. It's a very magical wheelchair. The Arsenal of Democracy. The Arse of Democracy. <laughs> During each other player's turn, you may give that player a card from your hand, then draw an action card. Play this ability only once per turn. War time at the end of your turn, draw an extra action card. Look, you would have gotten a vote if I hadn't yeah, killed you. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I have to throw this at your head. My Is that head? Be okay? No, head. At oh. my head? Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ranged attack. Okay. And you're going to take a wound. Except I'm going to block it. So. Dang it. What just happened? Let's try to stab you since you're already wounded. <laughs> Would you like some money? <laughs> money, money, money? Well, I mean, that was my attempt to stab, and I appreciate the money, but I'm still going to throw this at <laughs> oh! you. <laughs> hang on, hang on. No. When an opponent attacks you, that wound becomes unavoidable. Deal one unavoidable wound to your attacker. So, first, catch it like Hercules and Xena. <laughs> Ow! I got a wound! But oh! oh. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> yeah, well, I'm dead. Oh. But I caused myself to die. Oh, yeah. So, does that mean he gets it or just goes. Is if I already had a wound or just right. one heart, then you could kill me, so then I couldn't. Take the, take the win, yeah. Yeah. Still make me feel better. So do you still want to... <laughs> it doesn't matter. If I don't use it, you'll kill me anyway, and you don't take a wound. So at least this way I... Yeah. But there's your death vote, and you just won. Wow. Hey. Hey, it's over. Hey, no more stabbing. <laughs>
By the way, I just want to say in the back of the booklet, it should be noted that there is a special thanks to Marlo Miller, our amazing Kickstarter backers, and the incredible team of playtesters. Without all of you, this game would not exist. And in large, bold font, please don't stab the president. Words to live by. That is totally 100% uncopyrighted music I just sang. Nice. <laughs> and also, what is up with the potato salad video? Total clickbait! I'm glad the John F. Kennedy card doesn't have a hole in his head. Ow. <laughs> no, that's what he said. <laughs>